It will be time to finish AM's war then. I mean, I'm gonna walk around and go and find some upgrades here and there. 72%, sounds a bit right. Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine. Audio should be fine too, by the looks of it. Okay, so where are we? Um, picked up something there. Picked up something there. Picked up the energy tank. I think that is everything I can pick up at the beginning area. Or, or at, not at the beginning area, at this area, I should say. Um... Yeah, I guess I'll just go around and pick up some upgrades here and there. Who knows, maybe I end up going for 100% after all. Who's sending me messages? It's just Twitch informing me that I'm live. I know that I'm live, Twitch. <sighs> hmm. Oh, is this a diagram of where the BSL is? Kind of looks like it. Hmm. Hello there. There's another thing I can blow up here, right? No, no. And so we leave the spooky ship. I don't know how this elevator works, it's just like all rock, it's nothing. So it's just a platform. It's weird. That's not a question you do much, I guess. Oh, what are you doing? Now what are you doing today? Oh, wait, I'm recording right now. Um. There's a room with something up there too. to collect some items here and there. Uh, how did I get in here again? Oh, oh just the missile tank. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it. When you freeze the enemies, they just kind of fall down and shed on the floor. It's a nice little touch. I don't think they ever use it in the, in the, uh, in the actual games, did they? It's kind of morbid when you think about it. Just a missile tank in here. There's another missile tank up there, it seems. I would like to have more super missiles instead of normal missiles, to be honest. Uh, I don't think there's anything hidden up in the main area. Check out area one then. There 
That pistol Mega Metroid always gives me some trouble. I have no idea what it is. I think it is because the room isn't as big as the uh, following three uh, Omega Metroids. So I can jump over them more easily. Oh, right, there was a Zorbit Power Bomb. Uh, do we have here? A power bomb tank. All right. That is, once again, not a super missile. Um, there might be something hidden along the ceiling. I know there is that one door that I can now activate with the uh, energy packet. Energy ball, whatever you want to call it. Oh, I like how it floated up a little bit and it just crashed down. Uh, here. I don't think there was anything here, is there? Or is there? Oh, there is. I could have gotten this way earlier with the spider ball, but yeah, too much trouble. Um, so then we need to go inside of the structure. Or can I only enter that with the um, with the shortcut? Hmm. Time to find out, I guess. Yeah, I can't seem to enter this from this side. Hmm. Where is the door? That, oh wait, that was in the other in the other room, wasn't it? I think it was there. Is it delivered at the top of this room then, perhaps? Sometimes I like doing that. Uh, there was something in that ball tunnel, but I already found it last time I was there. Ah, yes. I d How about... no? There you go. It's so silly that they can leave the room. So yeah, there's like, uh, every zone has like one area like this where you have to do these ball puzzles. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh no, I see what's going on here. I see what's going on here. I hope you like shine spark puzzles because I don't. I do not at all. I'm slipping up here.
I am not good with showing spark puzzles, so this might take me a while. Draw oh, better not be a power bomb tank. Darn. The problem is I need to get up there. No, I, I, I can't do that when I'm uh, when I'm in jump, so I need to specifically do that. Oh, darn it. Yeah, it is nice that uh, a drone brings it back after you get rid of it, though. Even if you blow it up or not. Oh, there's not a lot of platforms to stand on there. Right there, not into the wall. Yeah, we're gonna be here for a while. I never was good at these. I never. And you might be wondering why I'm not using this, but you can't launch yourself downwards, I believe. No, doesn't work. I can I can destroy the top one by walking over it, but oh, I almost had it, and I got rid of the the one tile that I could stand on, so I need to reset this room. Shine spark puzzles, everyone. Fun for the whole family. Not really. Yeah, I might as well just get rid of them first. Don't know why you need to bomb the first one there, though. Yeah, the first half of the stream is mostly going to be this, and then finishing off the game itself. Ah! I almost had... Wait, can I turn off the screw attack? Um, not sure if I can in this game. Ah, I can! Okay, that's nice. That's going to help me at that point. Not every game allows you to toggle it off, so I wasn't sure if they uh, if they did it in this game either. Okay, no what? Oh. So I need to do it as a morph ball here? Oh no. Okay, it was okay, that's not too bad, that's not too bad. I say that, however. supposed to work. Uh, do we just need to be fast? Oh no. Oh no. You have to roll it to make sure to reveal what the blocks are, you presume? Yeah, maybe. I get it, I get it. Oh, oops. 
Says I get it. it. Presumes you fuck it up afterwards. There we go. Well, at least I get a super missile for it. By the looks of it. Okay, so go back to turn on my screw attack again. There we go. Okay, that's two super missiles obtained. Now, why do I get in that room? For fast travel. Well, not from this side, by the looks of it. Ah. Is there anything hidden in here? No, it isn't. Okay. Let's see. Uh, there were some items hidden there. Something was going on here, too. I think it's just power bombs, though. Um, let me see if I can go back to the uh, the transit hub and if I can get to the hydro station from this way. Speaking of, there is something down here too. to hear this music again at least, which is nice. I don't like this track. But like I said, it's an original track, but it, it, it fits in so well. They really did a good job with this. No, 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 no. Wrong way, wrong way. God damn it. Good job, Miner. <laughs> That's completely the wrong way. Oh, for the love of. Well, it's getting closer. There we go. I like that it gets sucked in, because otherwise I would overshoot it all the time. Hmm, that's just a missile tank. Uh, I think I'll probably get it with speed boost or something like that. Don't be too worried about that. I want super missiles, not normal ones. Wait a minute. How do I get in there? We need to go the long way around. Oh, darn it. Uh, that room has something. Might as well check that out too while I'm here. Uh, I've picked up one energy tank and one super missile tank since I was at that Omega Metroid. Is it gonna help me? Maybe. Maybe not. What the hell's going on here? There's some stuff in the deep there too. I might as well, might as well give it a jar look. Might as well give it a thorough look. I think both of these were. Uh, Oh no, only the upper one with the looks of it. Okay. Oh. 
upgrade into the spikes. Kill me. What do we have here? I thought that this floor looked suspicious. Oh, an energy tank. I will very gladly take that. I will very gladly take that. It's one hell of a way to go for one energy tank, though. Well, energy tanks are worth it. Is there something going on up here, though? Ah, there is. Hmm. That's gonna be fun nailing that spot. Ah, super missiles. Thank you, thank you. It was definitely worth going down here. Um. Right, now I have to go all the way back up. Oh. Can't move through that. Makes me wonder how long this complex has like, actually been flooded. You know the service calls this, but... We don't know how long it's been like this. I do wonder where the last um, energy tank is hidden in this case. I feel like I do just fall down. I can just destroy everything here. Um, I just need to go up. Everything is just rookable except these walls. Why? Making sure there is nothing in that corner. Okay, so this was a room where there was something else hidden. Oh right, I need a screw attack. I remember. I remember. All right, another super missile. We'll gladly take that. Oh, now I need to zigzag all the way around in order to get to there. At least I can get through this fast enough and everything. Stuff there. I will never find out now. Ah, oh, I could have. Oh, 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 I 
Like this takes me to the gravity suit area, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. No point in going back here. I already picked up everything here. You will lead me to zone three. Um, there's something up there. Like I said, I wouldn't 100% this game, but here I am picking up as much things as I can in order to just be able to survive. Uh, I need a power bomb here, I believe. What the hell do you want me to do here? Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh. No. Almost though. Oh lord, this one is going to be annoying. Get what they want me to do here though. I swear to god it better not be for a power a power bomb tank. God damn it, it's a power bomb tank. Um all the way to the left. Let's see if there's any hidden spots here. No, I don't. Okay, so what do you want me to do in this room? Remember this one. Yeah, and I fucked it up. Good job, me. Good job, me. This one is quite clever, though. Oh, did it again. Is there anything else I need to destroy here? Okay. Let's get it out of the way right quickly. Okay, I want to bet it's another power bomb. This is probably what it's gonna be. It's another power bomb. <sighs> not with the power bombs. I can't use these to fight Omegas. At least not that I know of. Um, okay, then there's the last area. Yeah. That was just a normal missile. Okay. So there is one area left to check. I get down there again. Um, save room. I just go down. I 
I know that this is not the most exciting part of the uh, of the of the playthrough. Going back to pick up some items. I wouldn't have done this if I wouldn't have needed it. But as I'm clearly not good enough to deal with the Omegas in my current state. Well, it's not really current state anymore, since I've already picked up some stuff, but... I think I've already, like, double the miss super missiles now, so... Yeah, that should help. Depends on the area you're going to. Oh, wait. Wait, wait this is the tower. Is there something hidden here, too, then? Hmm. I mean, as much as I like the tower, there's nothing left here. Uh, I can check that one part in the left, I suppose, but I don't think there's anything there. I kinda knew, but well, I kinda expected, I should say. Let's look this track again. Where's the one that brings me back to the hydro station then? Oh, isn't there one? That's a bit of a problem then. Uh, I'll need to take this one. Come on, get in there, Samus. There isn't a, uh, a quick way to get to the hydro station. Now I guess after I've gotten to the hydro station, I'll just go all the way down in the normal tunnel network in order to get to the point where I need to go. going for half an hour I'm just picking up random stuff everywhere. Uh, Stop being hurt by spikes, Samus. You're wearing a pretty good suit. this way as well. But yeah, once again I do apologize for this not being the most exciting part of the playthrough. Kinda of kills the entire pacing too. Because it was going decently fast. Speed is gone now. Just, just a normal missile tank. Darn it. I still feel that this game plays a lot faster than the official remake, too. Okay. 
know the music kicks in. Do I even need to go all the way up here? Like a battery thing? Yeah, I do. Well, we're gonna keep getting messages on my phone. Yeah, thank you, I don't want to know about your battery. Samus, get back up there. Get back up there, Samus. You need to go down. There we go. It's kind of silly how there was no collision with enemies with those. It's probably for the best, though. And here we have... Yeah, I see. I see. is annoying. Probably only because I'm being stupid though. There we go. There we go. Okay, so I effectively doubled my uh, my super missile account. Uh, that's literally everything I could have picked up too. Remix of, uh, of, of Prince Star. That's really nice. I do wonder how that uh, Super Metroid remake in um, the Zero Mission engine is going to be, though. Let's see if we can get it going next week or something. Won't be attempting it this week at least. Um, might be streaming more this week, not sure yet though. We'll have to see how everything turns out I guess. Sorry, drilly buddies. I'm gonna need you to get out of my way. And there's a safe station, might as well take that. Alright, let's see how the Omega Metroid is going to. Uh, if the Omega Metroid is going to cooperate, I should say. Oh, I can just freeze him. I could probably freeze them because I have plasma beam, which goes straight through them, I imagine. That is it, 
down. I don't need to go into the town. I might as well get that one uh, missile tank in the uh, distribution center area that's up in the wall with the speed boost block. Because I think I might be getting close to 100% in, in that case. You know what? I might as well. Said I wasn't going to, but no. Here we are. I'm sure how I'm supposed to get that one now. Let's kill these fish first before they get in the way. Okay, so that missile tank is quite high up. So if I fall down, where do I end up? Okay, this part. Speed! Okay. Um, yeah, I should have everything then. Like I can close the game and see if it says 100. Oh, uh, well, it's not gonna be 100% just yet, but. Wasn't as bad as I expected it to be. Getting that uh, that missile thing that is. Some of these speed boost puzzles are annoying. All right, down we go. It's kind of silly that there is one of those slime things. Just walking the way there, though. For some reason, this game just feels like the perfect game to play on a Sunday afternoon and then just like one go. No idea why. I'm only getting that feeling with it. Alright, oh, there was a thingy down there, area. Yeah. Oh. Hold on there, hold on there. It's just a normal missile tank though. I'll go back anyway to the safe station so I can uh, at least ignore that every time I end up dying to the Domega. Just in the name of speed. Uh, the Omega itself, maybe I should ignore the Omega and go to the room uh, right of it first because there is at least one super missile tank I can pick up there.
I think there was something down here too. Oh, just a little. Why do they keep giving you so much missile tanks at this point? Like, really? More supers, please. Missing one energy tank somewhere though. It's going to be hidden at the, uh, the final area then? Maybe. Alright. Time to do this whole dance again. Get up there. Okay, so I'm going to ignore him first and I'm going to get that uh, super missile tank that's behind him. Alright, it's time. Goodbye there. Alright. This is going to be fun. Not really. Let's see if we can at least get a free hit on him. Hello there, Jeffro. And I missed. This is already going horribly. That's fine. Street. Come, come on, buddy. It's definitely not a luxury that I got all these extra energy tanks and super missiles. Ooh, definitely not. Alright, come back. Come on, let me at least hit this one. Oh. I tried to back uh, the spot on his back, right? It's really hard to hit it. Tower went out for a moment. Ooh, is there anything like storms going on or something? What is the reason that you think that it went down? Obviously, I shouldn't be standing right in front of its feet. That's yes, asking for trouble. I 
think I'm still going to die, even though I've picked up all those extra things. Ready? So yeah, the problem with this one is it's room. And the other ones, the room is a little bit bigger. So it makes it a bit easier to fight them and jump over them rather. Come on. There we go. Son of a bitch. Not sure why. Hmm. Well, I hope it doesn't happen again then. Uh. Ooh, did you hear that yet? I heard something growl in the background. I wonder what that was. Hmm. I wonder what that was. I also find it clever that the background here is just like a recolored um, Sector 6 from uh, Metroid Fusion. But instead of blue water it's turned into, uh, into lava. Imagine having to recolor all those pixels one by one from bluish tints to reddish tints. Oh dear, it sounds like a hell of a job. Yeah, we are moving into the final section of the game. No Degonaut fights here. Luckily, I don't like the Degonaut that much. It's annoying. But yeah, that's where all the... Uh, I don't there aren't any other mini-bosses to fight anymore either. Or, well, mini-bosses, just normal bosses, I guess. There's more variety here in, uh, in bosses to fight as well, other than just one digging out. Lots of tools for recoloring exist. Yeah, I imagine, because otherwise that's gonna be a hell of a job. Imagine doing this in Microsoft Paint and replacing them one by one. Yeah, I can't imagine that. Ah, uh, this is a safe room, right? So yeah, the upcoming area in the remake was a funky facility with some funky music. Here we go to be having something quite different. Calm down, Cthulhu. these things. Are these even in the remake? I don't remember. Well, I think those are just the bugs that were crawling around in the, in, in the tubes, right? Hmm. Right, buddy. Don't think so. Don't think so for you either. I'm getting hit by all of these guys, aren't I? Let's 
getting even darker. And it's getting fleshy. Three metros detected in the area. So yeah, instead of an upbeat music in a research facility, you're getting this. And honestly, I think I prefer this area. There is nothing alive in this area except these creatures jumping around from wall to wall. menacing music. Nothing upbeat about this. Hmm. Is there more to this? No, why is there only a super uh, a speed boost passage here? I smell secrets. Shortcut or something. Ow. Fuck it up. Darn it, I fucked it up again. I don't mind all the eyes on the walls and stuff like that. Or slime. I'm not sure if it's just eyes or if it's slime, really. Oh, it just seems to be a way. Uh, uh, just, just seems to be a shortcut for speeding. Scanning environment. The nest. This area is infested with thick globe-like masses of compost, mostly of crystallized carbon hydrates. Those that have yet to harden are constantly moved by the airflow created from the slightest motion of nearby creatures. Only the most adaptable life forms can thrive in this ecosystem. So yeah, instead of a fancy ass laboratory you get this creepy slimy area as a finale. I feel like the menacing music now. It's not as upbeat as Summer's Returns, but... Okay, so there are three Omegas hidden in this place. Uh, I think I vaguely know their locations. Yeah, it's also a really big area. Weirdly enough. And these are reused assets from uh, from Zero Mission. Not too bad though. It works. It gets the job done. As a matter of fact, I wonder why in Norfair areas like this exist. Never really figured it out why. Alright, buddy. But yeah, this room is a little bit bigger, so you can jump over the more easy. Making fights easier, I find. I 
I mean, it's a bit sh less wide. But yeah, the Omegas are just kind of forced into, this, into these small areas. Don't ask me how they got in here, though. Well, probably some danger shenanigans. Strategic hits. Darn it. Hello, Lucky Tuna. Oh, and he's dead. Okay. That's one of three Omegas in this area. Now let's get back to the safe station and recharge, because it's needed. Also, this area makes it feel more like you're not supposed to be here as compared as to the one in the remake where it's just an abandoned laboratory I'm not going to call out the dreaded A word but it definitely applies here Make more of a maze out of these uh, slime walls, though. No, oh, yeah, here's the next one. Hello there. It is kind of silly how they just stand up when you think about it. Aesthetic. Yeah, that also works, doesn't it? I do wonder if there's like a little bit of extra damage you deal when you hit the um... Oh! I wasn't even using super missiles! Darn it! So all those hits I got in were just normal missiles. Oh, that's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. I do appreciate that the creator didn't uh, just like borrow the Omega sprites from uh, from Fusion for these. Something about these feels kind of off. I'm not sure what it is though. Like the Alphas and the Betas don't really have that issue, but the uh, the Gammas and the Omegas definitely do feel a bit off. That opening on its back is just another weak spot, but it's super hard to hit it. So I generally don't bother with trying to hit that. Because everything around it deflects missiles. So there's two out of three Omegas. I do wonder if the, uh, like I said, I do wonder if the, um, the spot on its back has like an increased damage ratio because it's so bloody annoying to hit, but... I am not going to try to find it out. Maybe the, the maybe the answer exists somewhere on the internet, but I'm not going to try that myself. It is funny how big the nest is, though, when you look at it. Like this entire blue area from up here. This is as big as the tower, basically. I 
Now this is the way forward after I've defeated the, uh, the Omegas. Speaking of Magus, here's the last one. But yeah, these rooms are a lot bigger than the one of the first one. Which makes them a bit easier to deal with. I mean, it shows. Like, even with all the other items that take, take a lot of damage, but... Like this. Mm. That's annoying. That's annoying. I actually hit it though. No idea if it dealt more damage or not though. It would be nice if it made like a different sound or something to indicate if, if that did. Ah, uh, that was the final Omega. For a player game, when it was a scripted runway sequence where you're not supposed to kill the enemy. Oh, I think I have. I can't really think of any examples though, but... Ooh, I, I heard that scream. I heard that scream. But yeah, it, it, it's just kind of ruin the surprise that it says that there are still 9 Metroids left. Which is the Queen and the 8 Babies, instead of just saying uh, there aren't any left. So yeah, that was the nest area. And no, I didn't save. Because I should be fine. A safe station up ahead anyway, I believe. There it is. But alright, that was the nest area. Time to get out of this place and go towards the final area. The final, final area. I wonder if there's just more areas in this place or if it's still like the fact that yeah you've killed all the Omega Metroids so now we, we, we animals can come in here and live here again. So remember that the final passageway in uh, Samus Returns was full of enemies and stuff like that. With the yellow water area. This is what we get in return here. Absolute nothing. Nothing lives beyond this point because all the metroids have killed it. I like that more than the robot infested end hallways of Summer's Returns. I 
the same in the original too. So it makes more sense. There still should be an energy. Oh wait, isn't that energy tank like right before the? Uh I think the LS energy tank is like right before the, uh, the final uh, laboratory. The reason I'm not walking over the floor is, is because there was pitfalls that make you fall down. And I don't want to fall down. And redo this entire section. Like it's a painful section but it's just annoying. There's a joint bus on here. And the uh, official remake as well as like that giant room with a lot of uh, hallways and stuff like that. There it's just a big open room of nothingness. Which kind of lends to the credibility that it's just like a laboratory suspended in the middle of the air so that nothing can enter or escape this place. Hmm. I thought there was an entry right here somewhere. I mean, we know there is one here, but let's do it forward. So there isn't an energy tank hidden here. Hmm. Also not in this place? I could have sworn there was something. Where would the energy tank be then I wonder? Can a lot of things fly around here though? Uh, I suppose, but, well, a lot of Metroids can also fly, yeah. Creepy as music. And safe station. Still though, an entire building suspended in the middle of the air, in an in a open ca cavern, it makes a lot of sense if you want to keep something secure. So yeah, this isn't a hive or something like that, it's just a laboratory. And there's a destroyed Chozo statue. Hello there, Mario. Martin Tom for the finale. I do wonder where that energy tank is though. There, there is, it, it is supposed to be somewhere, right? Maybe it's all the way in the starting area where I landed. Yeah, I'm not going back there. So I'm not going to get 100%. Uh. Just in time for the finale. Yeah, you missed the Omega Metroid section. Ooh, what's that? It's an egg. Nine Metroids detected in the area. No, oh, wait, I've accidentally put a marker there. Also, the normal Metroid sound was annoying here. environment. Genetics laboratory suspended above an abandoned city where the, where are the remains of a labo laboratory. I'll well, see there you have it. Scanners confirmed there was an extremely sophisticated equipment to be found along with the uh, scientific data of incalculable magnitude. 
Only stasis tanks are left. Organic traces would then suggest genetic research and DNA manipulation. Biogenic substances of unknown age are the go to the laboratory's walls. Yeah. It's a very nasty and spooky background. I won't lie. And yeah, the music here is more loud than it was in the remake. Uh, in the original it was also, well, as obtrusive as this. They tried making it more uh, subtle in the remake, I guess. But where the hell is that energy tank? Pro tip, don't use the power bombs in a abandoned laboratory like this. God knows what happens. Oh, get off me. Buddy, buddy. There we go. You can see the mud was in the background if you wait. Yeah, there was one there. So yeah, they made... oh. But yeah, they made the last area the laboratory instead of the, uh, the... semi-final area where the Omegas were. Alright, Jet, are you ready? I'm not. Queen Metroid, the only Metroid organism natural capable of producing offspring. The queen is the heart of the species and the mother of every Metroid born on SR388. Her role in the hive has hindered her mobility, yet encouraged the development of a long neck and must have had to strike at a distance. Her cell structure indicates she's heavily aged, possibly as old as the lab she settled in. The years have reinforced her torso to impenetrable levels. The queen's genetic coding is distinct from the other Metroids, and she may have gone through with a unique life cycle to attain her form. Okay, so yeah, this fight. It's a bit more akin to the original Metroid 2 uh, Queen fight, and not like the uh, the remix one. Though the original one took me like an hour to beat or something because it was such a tanky of a fight. Two ways to defeat this boss. I'm not sure which way I'm gonna get. And yes, yeah, she is getting faster. Go. 
However, unlike the original, there is more to this fight. I didn't even notice your typo until you fixed it, though. Alright. I like how she destroys the entire laboratory she's been in her entire life, though. Lola, who's better than this queen? I don't know. She was a warmongering idiot, remember? I'm swimming in a dubstick practice. And then she got poisoned by something, right? I don't remember what happened anymore. again at some point in the future, it was funny. All the bad mistakes of chat. Never let chat run, run a country. Oh, okay. If I knew it is, I should have gotten some more tanks and stuff. Time for the glory kill. You can also just shoot her with a missile, but then you don't get to see this. <laughs> yes. Cruise man. I like that the counter doesn't even go to zero either. But yeah, unlike the the glory trip to the surface 
from the remake. You're just greeted with this kind of peaceful music. And the baby just follows you around. No monsters, no bosses, nothing. Just some music, time to leave you with the fact that you've considered gen that you've caused genocide on an entire species in a galaxy. <laughs> no glorifying that fact here. But yeah, I am missing that one energy tank somewhere there. Hmm. So I think I got like 99% completion or something like that because I missed the last one. Uh. Unless I can walk around to the metro and actually explore stuff, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what the stuff is that it's eating. Many people have speculated about this. Some people have said it's like crystallized x parasites, But I don't know if that was ever the intention in the original. Baby blocks. And no violent storm in the background going on, just the tranquil night sky. Some calming music and baby noises. Sure, for the for the remake you can say yeah, but they added content, so that's a better game, right? No, uh, I don't know. I prefer this. I wonder how many people started shooting when it hatched. Well, in the remake you can't shoot it, so it's just it's just a cutscene there. Um, in the original I don't remember really if you could hit it. Yeah, the atmosphere here is just different. Okay, so there wasn't anything hidden here. Can I walk around? Oh, I can't walk around the planet with the baby. Uh, God knows where that one energy tank is then. Yeah, so be it. Good games usually less is more. Yeah, that too. I mean, consider that the, the original also had the limitations and stuff like that because of the Game Boy. But I prefer this take on the uh, on the ending. No surprise, Ridley fights here. I do like that the counter never went to zero either. But yeah, that's the remake, uh, the unofficial remake, I should say. Can I speed up stuff? No, I can't speed up stuff. But yeah, some people worked on this. Took them seven years. And well, they did a good job with it. And personally, I prefer the remake, uh, this this remake over the official remake because of a lot of things. Not saying that the official remake isn't good. It's good in their own rights, but it's different. It's different. Took me one and a half hours still. Hmm. For all the other time of price to kill that still exist. Yeah. I wonder why special thanks says Capcom though. <laughs> I wonder what that is about. I wonder what it is about. Show us to the original team, which is also nice. Not even sure if the uh, yeah, official remake does that. <laughs> uh, that's also that's also nice. That's also nice. I 
Now see me get 99%. <laughs> oh, 92%. So I'm missing a bit more. I'm missing a bit more. Four and a half hours, basically. That's yeah, not too bad. It's not too bad. No, it's more akin to five and a half hours. Um, <laughs> with stream time. And this little... Uh, this little cute ending with baby Metroid following you. <laughs> Speed run when? Hmm. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. <laughs> I do like this little uh, little teaser. Uh The galaxy wasn't really at peace, but hey. Well, maybe I'll do a speedrun at some point, but uh, not today, not today. But yeah, that is aim to our. It's quite a bit shorter compared to the uh, original or to the, uh, the official remake, I suppose. But yeah, I prefer this one for for a bunch of reasons, and I think I went over that during uh, the playthrough of uh, Samus Return. So I'm not going to do that again. No, it was saves for. Oh no, wait, that's the last time I saved. Fair, fair. Fair. There's also a gallery for um, how fast you complete a game, so you can view the different endings. Look at a little, look at a little baby. Oh, but all right, that's uh, that's it for AMJR. Yeah, I had fun with this. I was like just really in the mood to play this on Monday. No idea why. I just really felt the urge to play it. But like I said, I would, I would play it. So yeah. Here it was anyway. I will be playing more Metroid games in the upcoming weeks. Uh, well, it's only really one and a half month until um, Metroid Dread comes out because it comes out in like the first week of October. So, that Metroid is next. Uh, probably the um, the Super Metroid remade on uh, the Zero Mission engine. Because I do want to play uh, uh, Super Metroid, but I don't want to deal with. The, the physics and the floatiness of the Super Nintendo engine. Because I really didn't like that. I'm not saying it's not a good game, but I'm just not in the mood to deal with it right now. But alright, alright. I'm going to get the recording here. I hope you all had fun with this. I know I had fun with this. See you next time.